Tonight, more allegations of sexual assault involving 53-year-old Jose or Joe Barajas Franco, a former Conroe Massage Envy masseur. The management was negligent. They were not protecting the women. They were not protecting us. Former colleague Cricket Degner says women complained almost every week about Franco. She mentioned a sticky situation and numerous incidents in this email to franchise owner Mac Miller asking to transfer locations, but left the company after nine years as three more victims, identified only as Jane Doe, are suing Massage Envy, Miller's company FBE Ventures, and Franco. She had seen the news and she wasn't sure if it was the same therapist until his picture came up on the screen. Anna Greenberg represents the new victims, all who found out they weren't alone in being touched inappropriately after KPRC covered a settlement involving two other victims in October. He was allowed to proceed unchecked. Um, because they just buried all of these complaints. The new lawsuit filed Friday alleges FBE received countless complaints from clients and staff, but kept Franco employed. They claim Massage Envy doesn't require franchisees to report sex assault allegations to law enforcement. Instead, investigate them internally. Dozens of women who said they did not want to be seen with him. But this former employee who asked us not to identify her says the notes she took on complaints made by Conroe clients didn't get very far with management. We would go back to go look what happened with the situation that happened last week and my notes will be deleted. That's why this lawyer surprised to hear from more victims but worried there may be even more says she'd think twice about visiting any massage envy. They put protecting the company and the brand ahead of protecting women and um, their practices are such that they want to keep everything secret.